Hi, I'm Christine McKay with Northridge Publishing, and I have Jen Hadfield with us today. She is up for the challenge. We are doing the Make It Your Own challenge here at Northridge. And one of the things I love about this challenge is I always love having great designers like yourself to, to take part because it's amazing um, to see the finished project. And basically what the Make It Your Own challenge is, is I send Jen a picture of one of the projects out of our, our most recent issues. Um, for instance, I sent Jen a picture of this card from our February cards issue. And I love this card. When I first saw it, I, thought so, I, I saw so many different applications for it. So I couldn't wait to give it to you and to see what you would use um, just as an inspiration point and what you would come up with. And this is absolutely fabulous. Thank you. Now, Jen, just just for I wanted to start off just by talking a little bit about your blog because okay. Jen has a, a, just an amazing blog, and it's called Tater Tots and Jello. Right. Tell me a little bit about how you got started with that. Okay. Um, well, I've always been creative, and I've always loved to do projects around my house. And my sister was a blogger, and she said, "You need to start a blog." And I was like, "What am I going to talk about?" You know. So finally, I did start one, and I just started it as like a place for me to keep my own creative ideas. And um, I just started making friends online and, you know, taking part in different parties and things like that. And people just started coming over and it's just grown from there. And it's just a really fun thing to do now. I love it. It's kind of taken on a life of its own, hasn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. yeah it, I think you were saying it's like your full-time job. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I do. <laughs> but I love it, yeah. You know, and one of the things I love about your projects is that they're totally doable and they're practical. That anybody right. could do them. Yeah, I, I try to come up with things that anyone can do, simple, easy, you know, things that don't take a few days, just a, a couple hours, and things that people can use in their own lives and have a purpose. Um, I love that. And are beautiful, so. Okay, so let me just ask you right off the top. Yeah. So when I sent you this picture, what were some of the first things that caught your eye that you knew that you were going to use as your inspiration? Okay, um, there were a lot of things that I loved about that. I love that it had a lot of texture. I love the polka dots. It's kind of my one of my trademarks is polka dots, so I love that. Um, I thought the, the bird for spring would be really cute, and um, I love the damask uh, shape of it. So there were a lot of things um, that I was really excited to get started on. And what I think is really cool is that you were able to incorporate all of those shapes and things into this lamp, and yet it looks nothing like the card. <laughs> and that's amazing. So kind of walk me through how sure. you made this. Okay. Well, what I did was um, I wanted to take the damask and kind of blow it up and make it a, a little more of like a modern kind of look to it. So I took my craft cutter and I made a little stencil with a craft cutter. So if you have like a Cricut or Silhouette or something like that, you can just buy these sheets at um, Hobby Lobby or a craft store and they're made for you to make stencils with. So I made a stencil and then I just put it on my lampshade with some painter tape and I stenciled on it. And then I found some really neat craft paint that um, is a velveteen craft paint. And what it is, is um, you stencil with it and then you put an iron on top of it and a um, texture comes out, so it doesn't look like paint. It looks like Jen. When material, you came in, so. seriously, I thought it was like velvet or or something. It's That's absolutely really cool, amazing. So that right off the bat is just is such a cool tip, and I can't wait to check out some of that paint. And I love how you incorporated the polka dots with the ribbon. Yes. And then the final touch was this adorable bird. Right. I just made a little bird, and um, I love that you can take the ribbon and you can um, take it off and switch it out for different seasons, or I just get kind of bored with things, so um, I just did that. And the bird you can take off and you can, like, hang it from your little um, light switch yeah. or things like that, or so... I just thought it would be fun to like switch it around and make it a project that you can alter to. Jen, thank so. you so much for stopping thank you. by. It's been for, really fun. For more great inspiration, you can go to uh, Jen's blog, Tater Tots and Jello, or you can get some more inspiration from one of our latest magazines by going to northridgepublishing.com and get your very own subscription today.